how much would you pay to go to space? To have your own moment to say, one small step. To hit golf balls on the moon. To look down at Earth and ponder that pale blue dot. Or just, you know, get a really, really good selfie. Back in 2018, some of the first tickets to space went on sale. Regular folks could buy a round trip ticket to low Earth orbit. Sold by Virgin Galactic, the space flight company founded by billionaire Richard Branson. But okay, uh, when I said regular folks, maybe I misspoke because those tickets did not come cheap. Each ticket cost $250,000. And that was an early bird discount. Over 600 people snapped up tickets. Justin Bieber and Leonardo DiCaprio are rumored to be among the buyers. That means Virgin Galactic raked in $150 million for flights that didn't even exist yet. But now, a few years on, the first trips are finally scheduled to take off in 2021. I'm gonna guess you missed out on that sale, but no stress. Remember, we live in the future now. So you've got other options to get to space if you wanna skip all that boring astronaut training. You know, all that education, the discipline, forget all that. Check this out. Blue Origin. It's a rocket company started by another billionaire, Amazon founder, Jeff Bezos. They're also planning to start their own suborbital trips in 2021 aboard this, the New Shepard rocket, which looks shockingly like a, yeah, well, you know. Their mission statement is clear. They want to take astronauts and research payloads past the Kármán line. And if you haven't heard about that line before, it's a super important line when it comes to space. At 100 kilometers, or about 62 miles above sea level, it's the internationally recognized boundary of space. And fun fact, it's also the same height that auroras appear in the sky. Or, if Blue Origin isn't quite your vibe, go all out and treat yourself by booking a trip on Elon Musk's SpaceX Dragon capsule, where one trip to the International Space Station would set you back a staggering $52 million per seat. To put that in perspective, that's the cost of 1,300 Tesla Cybertrucks or 260 Tesla Roadsters. And that is not even where the buck stops with Elon. There's another space ticket that blows even that number out of the water. At least, probably. A few years ago, an eccentric Japanese billionaire paid a secret price to SpaceX for a flyby around the moon. It's planned for 2023, and it's for an art project called Dear Moon. Yusaku Mezawa is the guy who bought that trip. He's a former punk drummer and also the founder of online fashion retailer Zozo. And his grand plan? bring along half a dozen artists to space to create art and promote world peace. World peace. World peace. World peace. And that's not even where the story ends. He also wants to bring one more very special person. After breaking up with his actress girlfriend in late 2019, Mezawa wrote a tweet that only a thirsty billionaire can get away with, asking a woman to, quote, come to the moon with him. But... Not all of us are eccentric billionaires. So if you're thinking that $250,000 Virgin Galactic ticket sounds maybe just maybe within reach, here's what that trip will look like. Your trip starts here, the middle of nowhere, in the desert, in New Mexico. Virgin Galactic's flights embark from a newly constructed FAA classified spaceport called Spaceport America, which is 83 miles north of the Mexican border. It claims to be the world's first purpose-built commercial spaceport and is built to accommodate both vertical and horizontal launch aerospace vehicles. And also, I mean, the building just looks cool. Next up, you gotta suit up. Virgin Galactic calls this a spacewear system since it's not a full spacesuit. You won't need a helmet or anything since the cabin is pressurized. The same idea as an airplane. Every group of passengers gets their own mission patch. It has all the signatures of all the travelers on board, set against a blended composite image made up of their irises. There's a couple other cool ways for each passenger to customize their own suit. 
You can Velcro on a patch of your home country's flag, and on the inside, a spot over your heart to place photos of friends, or I guess enemies if you want, all finished off with a quote from Stephen Hawking. Taking more and more passengers out into space will enable them and us to look both outwards and back but with a fresh perspective in both directions. Then, it's time for your flight. An airplane called White Knight 2 carries your space plane, the Spaceship 2, up about 10 miles to an altitude of roughly 50,000 feet. And then Spaceship 2's engines ignite, rocketing you up another 50 miles. At its height, you'll have four minutes to float about the cabin. And now you can really take in the design. Like the seats. Made of aluminum and carbon fiber, they float off the floor of the cabin and attach directly to the walls. That allows them to recline during different stages of the flight. And of course, the fabric is color coordinated to match your suit. And you can't miss the windows. 17 of them all over the capsule, allowing views of Earth from nearly every direction. And then this part is really cool. At this point, the darkness of space is so dark and the brightness of the Earth is so bright that the crew shuts off the interior lights to allow the Earth itself to illuminate you and your fellow passengers. All around you, 16 cameras are embedded in the walls of the cabin to capture everything, saving you from coming back down to Earth and realizing all your iPhone photos look like And finally, Float toward the back of the ship, and you'll see a giant mirror back there for the ultimate mirror selfie. And after four minutes, it's done. You'll descend back towards Earth, re-enter the atmosphere, land on the runway, and Bob's your uncle. You've paid 250 k or the equivalent price of a single-family home in the U.S., for four minutes in the heavens. Oh, and that sweet spacewear system, which you'll totally wear for Halloween parties for the rest of your life. So if all that sounds good, you should know this. Virgin Galactic said their next round of tickets is gonna be priced even higher than the previous $250,000 price point. But you can still get in line, which, you know, costs money, of course. Deposits are $1,000, which for some of us may be the closest we ever get. <laughs> 